Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you've not seen me before, I'm Robin and my German Shepherd is Kaiser. Today I am off, my partner's in work, so it's just a me and Kaiser day, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love my own company, my own time, and I can move the day at my own pace. So I thought today we would go to a new kind of woods park area that I've not taken Kaiser to before, which is called Nausey Woods in Billericay, near where we live. So we're going to go over there, adventure. I'm going to let you guys know what the parking's like, if there's any fees, how big the area is, if there's lots of dogs, if it's busy, because it is a Tuesday kind of late morning now. So I'm really excited to have a day out. I'm in my gym gear so I can get sweaty and muddy and not be stressed about it. And yeah, it's finally getting cooler. We're now closing in into September soon. We're end of August now, which I'm so, so ecstatic about. Favoured season, which is autumn. And Kaiser can run around with no stress of overheating and things like that. So let's go and see Naughty Woods. We've got like a little educational room and we've got some toilets, but they're currently shut. Car park's like down there and it gives you a little bit of detail and it is free parking that I can see. So you've got like a little car park there and you've got like little notice boards telling you what's happening, a welcome sign, but there's also loads of different like trail entrances all the way further down. So as you would have seen, there's like welcome signs, toilets, and I can't see any charge for parking. It's quite sweet, little entrances to different like walking paths. I've seen a few families and things like that so far, but it's not too busy. And so it seems to be like a main trail. Um, and it's called like, like natural wood fencing. I think the trees have come down. They've got like pathway they've made, but some of them were just like mud pathways. I think people have made over time. not gonna lie this is a very picturesque pretty kind of little park and we've only been here like 10 minutes I'm gonna show you here it's just come off the trail we were just walking on this is what I mean by like it's a man-made kind of footpath that people have walked on you've got like this stunning tree and you've got obviously Kaiser <laughs> and you've got all like this woodland around little dens people have made again like the woodland pathways and fencing it's just so pretty so pretty and of course nosy parker is going to have a look do you want to have a look probably come home with an ant chilling on him somewhere but this is so gorgeous as you can see kaisi found his way up he looks like the king of the castle i love him so much come on then Good boy. We're having to keep a close eye currently on his hips. Yeah, so his hips have been a little bit kind of hit and miss, but he does start hydro in about two, three weeks. And it'll be interesting to see how he copes with that and getting back into the swing. Look at him, all handsome. First time since he's up, I've been able to give him a new little haircut. You can see his legs look a little bit tidier. I was even able to trim his stomach because it had got a bit curly and long. And I tidied his back legs. To be honest, he's never been cut or groomed professionally. So it saves me fortune. I do botch him. And my mindset was if I cut him politely, politely, properly now, and if I do butch it up, or screw it up he should have grown out a little bit for the wedding so if he needs a touch up before the wedding which is less than five weeks now that should be fine but to be honest he looks quite tidy he's got more comfortable he had a good brush and he looks so much smarter it's quite a vast bit of like woodland and grass lots of memorial benches we've noticed with little plaques and things like that which are really sweet he always runs up to them but i have noticed that as you can see it's quite like a sharp turn there and you're pretty blinded by what's behind that section of the pathway the concern with that is you can't see people and if i want to get kaiser on a lead i've just got to make sure i'm on like full alert and things like that and also if other dogs are reactive 
people can't see us. So I'm just keeping an eye. There's also like little signs, so I'm guessing there's like a map you can follow with arrows, there's like number codes as well. But there is a, a quite a few blind corners that I'm wary of because there used to be a park we used to go to all the time and we would never let Kaiser off at that point. He um, wasn't good enough with his recall a few years back and dogs would off lead run up to him and attack him and we would have some arguments. And sometimes Kaiser would be muzzled, so he couldn't even fend for himself. And somehow it was our fault, even though Kaiser would try and actually run away. <laughs> but because people are too stupid sometimes to learn recall, hmm, frustrating. <whistles> Look at that, my handsome baby. I'm so happy, he's feeling better, aren't we? Look at that. See what I mean? Like, you don't know who's ahead of you. Kaiser, he's just so good and it's just being aware and just being a sensible owner and now we can actually see ahead and to be honest I would give it another month and all this will be overgrown. So far every dog, dog we've come across I've put Kaiser on lead or I've just held him and who wants it? I think it's rude. And also, if they see me put my dog on, I think it's common knowledge, but apparently not wherever we live. And I think that seems to be a thing everywhere. Also, look at... Oh, Kaiser, have a look at this. <laughs> so sweet. I love seeing little dens like that. So, yeah. There was a mum with a baby and a little toddler and she was really good and she was like be aware of the doggy, like just be kind, be slow, kind of like the way you'd pass a horse, <laughs> um, but that was really sweet, but I can't get out of how cool just look. Every twist and turn there's like a whole different area to the woods, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Kaiser, where are you wombling to, huh, where are you going? Look at that beauty. Go then, up! Look at that! Huh? What a stunning piece of log. I've noticed there's been quite a few trees where they've fallen and chopped them. But this one has been like that for a while. It's quite smooth so I'm assuming it's like a seating area. But it's so pretty. There was a lady um, literally walking past, so her old Kaiser, her dog was off lead, she went, do you want me to put mine on lead? I went, no, no, it's fine, she went, your dog is so big, I would have no room in my kitchen to even open the cupboard doors, he is gorgeous, I was like, thank you. Also, I know it's only end of August, but I know all the live, lives, leaves are dry, but this just reminds me so much of autumn and then the greens, green leaves are still chilling on the trees, but it's just getting me so excited for autumn walks because I'm sweating, <laughs> absolutely sweating, especially my top lip, oh, sweaty Betty. He's definitely having a good walk and I can't get over how gorgeous this little park is. There's loads of little off trails, it's called like the long trail and different names and it's just gorgeous and I would highly recommend so far Nausy Woods. What I have noticed is there's literally no poo bins. I'm gonna screenshot and upload on this screen a picture of a map and it shows you locations of poo bins. Where the map was, there was two bins 
within like two meters of each other and that's the first poo bins i've seen other than the car park which just isn't practical or sensible we are home i'm just popping in to see my grandparents as obviously it's my day off but overall i would happily return to the woods the drive is a little bit of a not a pain but it's a bit country routey so if you're not com comfortable going obviously on country roads I would say go like today, midweek, midday, and it's quiet, but in like rush hour, I can imagine it's quite daunting or busy, but that doesn't faze me. But guys, I had a beautiful walk. I loved it. You would have seen all the different sections and areas. There was a long trail, a short trail, and um, obviously like toilets, but they were shut. I don't know why, I didn't say they weren't working, but there was a notice. There was like a Cub Scout event going on there. Um, it was really sweet. So if you enjoyed this, let me know if you want me to do more vlogs again as we're going back into obviously autumn and winter. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.